Dream Mr. Beast Burger was cancelled. Well, god damn, I mean, that, that sure does sound pretty entertaining and insane. You know what, I, I think I need, you know, I think I should watch this video. I mean, did it actually get cancelled? Let's find out. So, people are once again mad at Dream and Mr. Beast. Now, as you guys know, a few months ago, Mr. Beast released his own restaurant, Mr. Beast Burger, and it pretty much gave okay, all one of his more friends their own sound burgers. Effect, so, and a I'm lot of people got myself. mad at Mr. Beast Burger because apparently some locations were messing up their orders, which to give- Great, where's the shotgun? I can feel the world get farther Every year the stars get darker also, guys, before we start, go ahead and join my friend's Minecraft server. Like, honestly, dude, this Minecraft server is just absolutely epic. It's called the Dunes, and it's really grindy shit. So, uh, if you want to join, come and join. It's 1.12.2. And the server IP and the Discord server link is on the screen. Alright, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be completely transparent with you all. See, guys, I've had this Jaden guy on my radar for quite a while now. But I never actually thought about making a video on him. And the reason for that is is that the fact if you make bad content i don't really care i mean i don't think that's really video worthy except if you're a gotcha tuber but yeah i mean basically his content is really bland and really bad now listen guys i'm gonna get into the narcissism manipulation and scumbaggery in a bit but first i just want to finish watching this video so the title of the video is dream mr beast burger was cancelled dot 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 now pretty much i think everybody knows this the basic definition definition of cancel culture is pretty much when somebody does something that's considered bad and stuff you would most likely be cancelled which pretty much means that you would lose your reputation and everybody would just start hating on you is over party would start trending on twitter so let's see if this actually ended up happening to dream mr beast burger mr beast some credit he doesn't exactly own all of these restaurants he basically allows pre-existing restaurants to sell his mr beast burgers but overall most people had a pretty good experience with mr beast burger and he ended up saving a lot of restaurants through mr beast burger and now he did something that i didn't expect him to do mr beast did a collab with dream so now dream has his own mr beast burger which not gonna lie that doesn't look like the best burger i've ever seen but hey i haven't tried it maybe it's pretty good but after they announced this a lot of people just kind of memed on dream's new burger and they said it kind of looked like the nasty patty from spongebob which is the kind of thing that you would expect from twitter but then for for some reason, people actually got mad at Mr. Beast for doing this collab. They were basically saying that Mr. Beast and Dream are contributing to obesity, which doesn't even make any sense. But I'm just gonna go over some of the things that people had to say. So, Dream just came out with- No, listen, I get that obesity is a real issue, but how the fuck does this mean they're cancelled? Like, I'm pretty sure four people on Twitter won't be able to destroy a channel with like 20 million subscribers and another one with like 60. But, uh, Speaking about subscribers, Jaden, you know, he's been growing uh, quite a lot lately, and, um, you know, the main reason I know this is actually not because of his social blade, because I don't really care. The main reason is, uh, him being a fucking dick about it. Let's just take a look at this. Now, the worst part is that he doesn't even acknowledge it. He's, like, 150k and climbing, which, I mean, alright, I mean, that's fine, you know, I like to sometimes brag about my YouTube as well. And then he's, like, stay mad. Now, listen, Jaden, I'm not really sure who you were talking to i don't know who dead meme frog is but uh i'm not really sure anyone's mad to be honest like Jaden, you know I i'm really sorry but your content is absolute dog shit like i, I i'm sorry man i really didn't want to have to say this but it just is the amount of swoosh effects makes it look like a fucking powerpoint presentation so people are once again mad at dream and mr beast so no. All your content is, is literal Minecraft gameplay, and basically you talking about something getting cancelled when it's just like five people on Twitter. You have no personality. If the drama dies down and there's not really any more news to talk about, which that probably will never ever happen. Nobody will watch you, dude. Trust me, nobody watches you for your personality. All they watch you for is the news you give them. Nobody is like, oh yeah, man, I love Jaden. Nobody's gonna walk around school with a fucking Jaden hoodie. Why? Because they don't watch you for you. And of course, then he's like, what ego? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, this thing is just honestly funny. Like, there's no, wait, wait, how old is this guy again? Tubia, alright. 
This dude is 18 or 19. Like, honestly, how is this dude 18 or 19? He acts like me when I was like, what, eight years old? So basically, what happened was that Jaden made a video called Dream is Dead, which, I mean, it's kind of fucked up. Like, as much as I really don't like Dream, like, bro, you shouldn't really clickbait somebody dying. And then a person known as David Plex made a tweet about it. I don't know, I just feel like commentators shouldn't lie about people dying for views. I don't know why that's wrong. Well, David Plex, I'm gonna tell you why that's wrong. And you know what? You're completely correct. See, the thing is that you shouldn't really lie about people dying. Like, it's literally literally basic fucking human sense to not lie about people dying because it's massively disrespectful and then he's like i didn't lol i literally said he didn't die in the video it's just the title yeah so it's clickbait the title says something different from the video itself to attract more click no it's not clickbait it's clickable it's where you exaggerate the title or choose the best title to get views literally every youtuber does it. the title had relevance to the video it's not like i just made up a fake story and i said he died i covered what was trend yeah but you're lying about somebody dying see let's take a look at the J Station example. For example, J Station makes garbage 3 a.m. dark web videos, but nobody really hates those. I mean, he's not exploiting anybody's death until he actually does that, and that's where it's fucked up. See, how would you like it if I would make a video called Jaden has died? Dot dot dot. And also, exaggerating is completely normal. I mean, I sometimes do it. I mean, I'm probably gonna call this video like Jaden is the worst commentary channel or something like that. Which actually, you know what? Taking a look at this, it's probably not far off but yeah you know what we all exaggerate and let's just fucking own it but the thing is that you can't really exaggerate to the point where you're literally lying about somebody dying like that's just messed up then pie man replies with well he didn't die the title and thumbnail make people click on it because it makes people think he died correct then they click on the video and you say he didn't die that's clickbait not really wait wait, wait. what not really yes it, it it's clickbait like what like listen Jaden, i sometimes do clickbait about my Myself, and if you're gonna clickbait then at least own it does mr beast clickbait does pewdiepie what about leafy did he clickbait it's called getting people to click on your videos with exaggerated title and thumbnails it's the youtube game don't hate her the player hate the game i'm not really sure what that is supposed to mean but okay now listen we all have to clickbait and nobody's gonna say this publicly but we're all looking out for ourselves but the thing is is that if you're gonna clickbait at least own up to it you literally put a misleading title dream did not die but you said in the title that he has died so it's clickbait like i'm sorry bro but it just is and then pie man replies with you didn't exaggerate the title slash thumbnail you just straight up lied lma which exactly i mean it's literally clickbait and lying and then the funniest part about this is that Jaden actually blocked Hi, man, which Jesus Christ. And also, can we just talk about how this dude saying stuff like, oh yeah, Leafy, Mr. Beast, PewDiePie clickbait. Like, yeah, bro, if you're gonna clickbait, own up to it. It's not a good thing, but it's about the YouTube game. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just own up to it. I mean, that's literally my only point. Jaden is also sensitive and he, he sort of likes to play victim with his fan base. He posted an LGBTQ flag, which I'm not sure what this one is, but you know what? I completely respect that. And then he's like, okay, a person called the Fatal Mikak with a fucking creeper profile picture says gay idiot, fucking gay. <laughs> like what? Like, bro, how are you going to take this stuff seriously? And plus, you should at least censor out their names because by that profile picture, it's definitely a child. Then this person with their literal real name, which by the way, I'm, I'm going to black out, but you can easily find it because Jaden didn't do that himself. I knew something was fishy when you said you were going to buy the Satan shoes. Screw off and get out of my recommendations, you unholy bastard. Now, of course, these messages are really stupid, but Jaden, <laughs> 4,000 people like this, and you have a large army of fans. And plus, it's funny how sensitive this dude is. He's literally taking it seriously. Like, this dude is like the next Keemstar. Like, he honestly blocks people over criticism, which, by the way, was completely valid criticism. Like, he was literally losing the argument. And now he's getting angry over a person with a creeper profile picture saying fucking gay. 
just, I just can't get over that, man. Like, it's too funny. Jaden also had beef with another YouTuber called Lyrics, and I don't really want to summarize it because the video is like 10 minutes long and it's a really long argument. But basically, Jaden makes himself look like an absolute meltdown. And basically, just, just watch the video. Like, I really do suggest watching this if you're actually interested in the Jaden case. See, the thing is that this dude is a topic commentary channel. Topic commentary channels are shit. I don't care if you're literally like a god of commentary and your editing is great. You're, you're shit. Your content is not interesting. I'm sorry. Okay, I mean, that was a joke. I mean, I can name some uh, some good topic commentary channels such as... Uh, uh, <laughs> Decept. Yeah. No, but the thing is that this dude talks about news, and if that news didn't exist, nobody would watch him because the people watch him for the stuff he covers, but not for him. See, like, they don't care. Oh, and, uh, yeah, another one for the Jaden fans in the comment section. No, I fucking hate this dude, and hope he died a terrible fucking death. Tuck this faggot. Uget Nojsk Burger. Like, what? What? Like, bro, how old is this dude again? Wait, 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 let's check. He's 18 to 19 years old. We got a fully grown adult here saying stuff like, no, I fucking hate this dude and I hope he dies. Keep that in mind, guys. A fully grown adult saying this stuff. Like, dude, I just, I just can't handle this, bro. Like, I'm fucking dumb. Uh, like a fully grown adult talking about how somebody should die a terrible fucking death. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. There's a lot of shitty things he also said in Lurks' video and way more stuff to talk about. Like, guys, I'm only scratching the surface. Like, this dude is literally like Keemstar. Like, I'm not even joking. This dude is going to be the Keemstar of 2021 or 2022. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, this dude is probably the next guy like there's just so much controversy surrounding him you just can't name and talk about all of it but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video also sorry i got a bit mad in this video but uh dude like come on man like you probably gotta understand why like, this Jaden dude is literally the biggest loser of the 21st century but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like share and subscribe or Jaden will actually come to your house and he will do a lot of weird stuff dude i'm, I'm not joking bro okay i'm just kidding i just want subscribers but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah see you guys peace